Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the FM Save. I do apologize, it's been a while since I recorded and even uploaded it, but we are back today. So as things stand, we are currently in fourth position, two points behind Rio Ave. Uh, we are also uh, behind Porto and Befica. We did beat Porto, but Befica are still in ahead, to be honest. Take a look at um, finance and stuff. It's about to become January, so transfer window, three million to spend, maybe to improve the team. Uh, if, but to be to be honest, we know we've we've sold Matthias Race and he's uh, leaving in January, so it might be a backup for him. We might get a new left back in because to be honest, Nero Salah hasn't done great. I don't think these are the last five games. Uh, actually, no, not even these. I was looking at but but Hulman, but yeah, not the best to be honest. Hulman and Morita have been fantastic in the middle. Fresnel has been good on the right. So to be honest, it will probably be a left wing back to come in in uh, January. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll pretty much uh, sim to uh, January unless anything else comes. Uh, we're not scheduled to have a game until Vizela in 18 days of the the little winter break that the Portuguese league has. Um, but yeah, in terms of competitions, we're still in the Sassa de Liga. We're not in Tata Portugal anymore, but they're still going to win a trophy and we're going to the next round of the Europa League as well. So other than that, let's get assuming. So we also have four players that have been called to the Cup of Nations, three that are still with the team. So Jenny, Usman, Diamonde and uh, Chico Lamba all being called North Sea Javan for Cap Verde as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be without those players from January as well. So, Diamonde is a big miss. Uh, Jenny and Chigolama, not so much. But um be good to see them do well. Uh, hopefully, they do do well. And obviously, in real life, it's going to be the same as well. We also have got the Europa League draw as well. So, uh, might as well watch the draw in its entirety. Uh, three speed advance. So, uh, let me start the draw. So, it's Real San Sebastian. Uh, I don't think... Can we get them? Uh, so they get, yes, we, we get one of these players. They come down for the Champions League. Oh, there we go. It's a Real Sociedad that we get straight away. So there's no point even looking at the other ones. But Real Sociedad is the first game we have. So if we take a look at the team, they've got, if we go tactics, I suppose, Andrew Silva, Uriza Bal, uh, Zubizimendi, Marino, Tierney, Orizola, Rui Silva, Lemon and Kubo off the bench wants to leave. Kubo is, is very good in real life, so I don't understand why he's not been playing. Uh, nah, it's not worth it, is it? Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's who we're playing against. Uh, so two big bits of news on the 18th of December. Uh, I'll sh show you if anything else comes up. But yeah, it's pretty... I'd say it's an okay draw. Like, not the worst, but obviously they're quite good. So uh, it's got to be raining on the day when it comes. So in the next round of the League Cup, we've got the old Classico again. Obviously, we beat Porto last time, but, you know... Where the semi-final of a cup is a bit different. You know, playing in the layer as well, which is uh, good because it's neutral. But uh, yeah, January 23rd. Am I playing this episode? I don't know how many games we actually want to play this episode. Uh, but we'll change that, firstly, to have uh, Tuesday and Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday, uh, even. Uh, Wednesday and Sunday. I guess that'll do. Um, and then we've also got Tuesday and Sunday as well but obviously we're going to prepare for the tuesday game more than that but uh, yeah so we are saying goodbye to a club hero yannick balassi and to be honest we're selling for 450 pounds so i mean he he didn't really do much did he he's going to vita club in his uh home nation of uh dr congo he played what two games for me three in total uh, four in total but you know and he also was against me for uh being rude to uh, Casapia, so uh, against the team, against the team to Casapia. So glad to see you go, Yannick. Off your pop. Uh, so that's gone. There's a few players that are on the end of their contract. Oh, that might be a good one. You know, do we have them two as competition? I reckon we could try. Depends how much wage he wants. That's perfect, uh, and we'll add that as well. Mate, that works for me. Uh, a few players that are getting uh, that are coming towards the end of their contract. To be honest, I look at everyone here and I agree with my scouts saying not good enough. Maybe he's got some decent potential and uh, Guillermo Santos as well. Uh, Marcus is 19, probably not going to come anything. Okay, he can't do that, but. There's a few others as well. I might just uh, do all of these just to renew because, you know, I think they deserve... Jesus, there's a lot of them. Uh, is one of them director of football? Is one of them Hugo Viana? Can I not? Where is Hugo Viana? 
Uh, where is Hugo Vienna? Because I feel like he should be here throwing the football. There we go. There we go, mate. Uh, you know what, Hugo? Come on then, mate. I think you've done well enough. Uh, Finalised deal. Um, cool. Um, he doesn't want to agree a new contract. So, land player out that I can do. No problem. Uh, 1.9. Get rid of the yearly wage rise and we have a deal. Cool. That works for me. Uh, Nuno Cardozo doesn't want to stay. And nor does uh, uh, Saika, who's a uh, sporting BT manager. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, we'll move on. So, we confirm it, Yannick Balassi is gone, and the fans are elated he was sold. And happy decision struck it was who was unhappy and would have run down his contract. So, Balassi is gone. He's joined the Vita Club. you got to respect it, going back to your home nation. And also, Al-Shabaab signed Mateus Race as well. Um, you know, he wanted to leave, and I feel like it's probably the best thing for him as well. They're worried a regular starter was sold, but I think, you know, finances speak for themselves. So, you know, let's move on. So I can confirm our first signing of the January transfer window is Sergio Gomez from City. So I did this one a bit quietly because I wasn't sure. But I thought, you know what, as an attacking fullback, as compared to Nuno Santos, I think he would be so much better. And he's obviously 23. He's got high potential, I think. Still pretty good. And we only paid $3 million up front. In total, it could be to $20 million, But that includes things like uh, 50 appearances. You can see it here. Uh, where is it? Uh, after league appearances of 50, $6 million. After international appearances, 2.9. I don't think he'll make those international appearances, to be honest. And obviously, the percent of the next sale is also 30%, which is, you know, a bit much. But 3.2 million up front, I think, is worth it. So, welcome, Sergio Gomez from Manchester City. Hopefully, he could be our sort of Pedro Porro, uh, like he was for us, but a left back. And I think he'll, he'll be ready to play in the game against Vizela as well. Because uh, he seemed to... that He was tired, so I reckon he must have played uh, recently. Uh, so... Newcastle have made an offer for Pedro Gonzalez. My client is incredibly interested to speak to Newcastle. Would take a lot of convincing to remain at the club. His release cost is 69 million. So to me, it's pretty much that or bust. I would do 60 with a 20% sell-on fee. To be honest, I did not think that was going to go through. But 60 million, 20%. I think it's it's, it's a good deal, to be completely honest with you. Uh, Guilherme Santos, Braganza, Braganza saying. Uh, but I got it 60 million, so definitely use that to make some uh, some splash in the transfer market, definitely. But, uh, you know, not everything is sorted yet. We get these players on the, the third, though, the Rooney Baji, who I actually forgot I bought in, to be honest. Uh, start the transfer window. Andres Santos, I'm telling you, mate, we are going to make some new signs, especially if Pedro Gonzalez goes for 60 million. We're going to be rolling in it. Gonna going to do a whole rebuild. But anyway, Rudy Baji comes in, and we do have 11 million f uh, future fee, which we probably will use because I think that's uh, really good. So, compared to the team, we're going to play on the right. I guess play that, and then we'll play Edwards on the left. So, we want an inverted winger on the right. Inverted winger support, and that's what we'll play you as Rooney Baji Gomez. <coughs> excuse me, was a part of the side who won the Champions League. Send the language course, squad registration, do that. Bish bang, and we'll also uh, ask Esgaya to welcome him. Don't know why Esgaya is doing it, but fine. Uh, so Sergio Gomez will be playing at a uh, wing left wing back in a wing back position on support. So let me put him in there. It also means that Jenny can uh, relax, I suppose. But apparently, compared to Nuno Santos, it doesn't look that good. But I reckon with time, he'll still be better. So if we go sporting, we go, uh, where is he? Nuno Santos. So in terms of attributes, uh, can we do position and role? So if we do left wing back, yeah, we can't do that, but we'll just do that, I suppose. Uh, in terms of stats, it's pretty even. I think it's pretty even, but obviously the age is on Sergio Gomez's side, I would say. Um, and I think he will be better with time. And he's also quite more versatile than Nuno Santos is playing in the middle there, playing on the right. But left only, 5 at 7, 5 at 10. If we go to crossing, that's what I really want to look at, uh, crossing. So 
16 is the same for both. What about shooting? Shooting is... Where is shooting? Is that not... It's not a thing, is it? Uh, passing 15. They are, they are actually pretty similar, to be fair. But I think Sergio Gomez is brought in as a starter. And I think he will be good. We do have a bid in for one of our players, I see, though. Uh, who is that going to be? Uh, so Newcastle, that's fine. Vesugo. Oh, is that it? 50%. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, as we do for most youngsters. But yeah, let's get on with simming. Obviously, it's been uh, eventful few days already so uh let's have a look and another one to leave is vice captain Luis Neto so again 22k was nothing but he was retired he's gonna leave at the end of the season slash retire a acceleration it's got good mentals but physically he's just not there anymore is he so I think it's time to go he didn't get any game time with us only got two games in the league had the same amount in the B team as well only played four games six games in total sorry uh, but Neto has gone uh, unfortunately, he is going to CSK Moscow in Russia, and that goes on the 26th of January. So I can't even say goodbye to him. But um, but yeah, sad time one to see. So another deal is through, and that is Ignacio Araboen, the goalkeeper from Aroca. As a backup, I think it's good. It also leaves Israel to go get some game time as well. So he comes in, he has a competition with Andrew. We could rotate them, to be fair. But yeah, it means uh, that will be in, in the new season, though, as that's a pre-contract deal. So uh, how much would it take to buy now? 1.2. So yeah, we're probably not going to do that. But anyway, I've uh, got the game against Vizella next. This is the team we're going to be rocking with. We are going to go in a positive sense as well. So Andrew, St. Just, Inacio, Coates, Fresneda, Nuno Santos to start. Because Sergio Gomez is not there physically, and I reckon it would be better to bring him off the bench. Human, Morita, Edwards, Gon Gonzalez, and your Chris. Probably Pedro Gonzalez's last game for the club. Neto's on the bench there, maybe. Rudy Bargi will get his uh, debut as well, as will Sergio Gomez this game. But yeah, I think we win. Let's get the result. So after the Benfica, I've just said, I want to see a much marked improvement for you, from you tonight, and everyone is motivated. Apart from Sergio Gomez, can play some. But other than that, he'll be good to go. So let's do it. Then there's put Samu through. Can Andrew save? Yes, he can. It's been a bit more uh, Vizella in the last sort of few minutes when the game started, but Edwards has found Pedro Gonzalez at least. Oh, apparently not. But can we get the ball back here? Inacio on the left-hand side. What can he do? He's going to find Pedro Gonzalez, who will pass back to Inacio. Inacio will find Nuno Santos with a good ball to Yoquez, I think, is onside. The linesman has got his flag up. I don't know if he was onside or not, because I couldn't really see from that angle. But let's have a look. Goal review is going to be allowed. Goal disallowed, so he must be offside. Yoquez has done that a few times to save. I would like him to be more of an... Play who plays on side, but it doesn't seem he's look, he's miles off. Come on now, but that is shocking. But yeah, at least we know we can score when we get the ball. But you know, continue, I suppose. Inacio, Hulmond, finds Nuno Santos on the yellow card. Not surprising. Good cross into Edwards with the header. Buntic is forced into a save, but we're playing well. So let's see if we can get this corner in. We know we have a lot of them, so let's see what we can do from this one. It's gonna be Nuno Santos to take the corner. Can he whip it in front post? He can. Kowatis is there. Buntic with a great save. I think it's going wide anyway, but did a great save from Buntic there. What can we do from this side? It's going to be Morita. Morita will cross it in. Morita. Hulmond. Back to Morita. Back to Hulmond. Morita. Tries to find Jokrez, I think, was in there, but couldn't get the ball. And it's a throw into Vizela. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of that highlight. But again, we're not really doing anything. We're not really been that threatening they've got a free kick here oh it's nearly gone in it's just hit the bar but we need to be a bit more sharp in the defensive side as well but um no i expect to see a goal here already but clearly not it's gonna be their free kick again andrew the great save uh let's see if we can stop this corner though so it's gonna be uh who takes the corner it's nuno morea former sporting player as well gonna cross it in it's gonna go to ascende who hits it over the bar so again maybe we need to switch to a bit of a balanced mentality and do that but uh, other than that i think we're good uh i know that morita with the free kick the corner kick even it's gonna cross it in morita only gets as far as pedro gonzalez his last game for the club most likely awful pass he's already gone to newcastle apparently because uh, it doesn't seem to want to be playing for sporting saint juice with a decent tackle but it's gone back to mateus pereira gonzalo inacio good inception victor yokarez Saint Just, <coughs> excuse me, Morita finds Yokres. Yokres is through on goal. Gets the post. 
Come on, Jokerez. Man, that is just... That is so dis disheartening, man. He should have scored that. How are you going to hit the post from there? But got another highlight, at least. Coates. Morita finds Edwards. Jokerez in the box again. Jokerez is there. It's a good save this time. We're having a lot of uh, more attacks since they're going into balance. I think that might have been the way. We'll press Rashid. Uh, but we've got another throw in here. Fresneda. Fresneda's going to throw it to Morita. Fresneda still. Cross. Pedro Gonzalez is there. Nuno Santos. Hulmund. Morita. Morita's standing there. Hulmund's got it back though. Fresneda. Coates. Morita. Good ball to Pedro Gonzalez. Jokerez. He's hit the post again. He's offside again. Stay on side, Jokerez, man. Come on. It's half time now. I don't want to say they're doing bad because they're not. But I do think it's sort of like you've been unlucky. And then you went that bad, but you still improve. I think that's the way to go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and that's it. Do we make any subs? Jokerez on a 6.3. No, 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 yellow. So I think it's a good time to bring in Sergio Gomez for his position. So Sergio Gomez comes in. I'm looking at everyone else. Jokic is probably going to be the next one to come off because the 6.3 is disgraceful. And then maybe one of the centre backs because they're all coming back from injury. So uh, let's have a go. Sergio Gomez has first touched the ball. Goes to Hulmund. Still Hulmund here with a good run. Finds Fresneda. Fresneda has the ball to Edwards. Edwards is there. To Hulman, let's go. Great play from head from Edwards from Edwards to find Hulman in the middle there. Great team goal. To be fair, Sergio Gomez started it, so maybe it was a good substitution after all. But one 0 against Vizela, as we should be. Fresneda gets the ball kick off again, and he's gone on the counter attack. Fresneda on the ball still. I lose it to Mateus Pereira. I thought we were going to go and score off that. Novilo, Samu, Sergio Gomez with a good header. Hulman. Inacio, Sergio Gomez. It's gone the counter attack, Sergio. On your debut for the club, let's go. Sergio Gomez, a good cross. Oh, I thought he was going to find Jokerez there. But we're all over them so far. Let's try and not let them get out of their half. Uh, they don't. Let's go. Inacio, Pedro Gonzalez, Morita. With a good ball to Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro Gonzalez gets a corner. What can he do? Can we deliver this in? It's going to be Gomez with the corner. Taking his time here. Gomez delivering. Coates. Okay, just over the bar. But still, playing well now. I'd like to see it. Samu. Good save from Andrew. Safe hands. Love to see it. And that should be the end of the game. Hopefully, Inacio. With his not lose position, Braganza. Let's just. There we go. 1 0. I'm dying of a cough. But still. Good result, I think. You love to see it. Edwards with the uh, the goal. Sorry, with the assist. Human with the goal. Love to see it. Well done, lads. Good win. That's all you need to say. Don't need to complicate it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that puts us up to third in the table because Real World must have... They lost to see to uh, Porto Monets. So that puts us up to third place. One point behind Porto and 10 behind Benfica. So anything can happen, but obviously them two will game in hand. But, you know, let's just see them, I suppose. But we do have to congratulate these guys on their training just to keep the squad morale up so uh yeah i'll see you at the next piece of news so in the news which has just come through that is uh morita did have a pulled hamstring he's out for 12 days and two weeks uh so i think i'll just send him there Baji made his debut of course and so did uh someone else dlc money wants coates from man united i mean okay um but yeah i guess we'll continue maybe we'll have a watch on that story uh, but yeah, Quaz wasn't happy with me that I re-signed into a contract, so uh, could be. So there he goes, Pedro Gonzalez joins Newcastle. Six million they get to Familia Cal. We got fifty-two million for the transfer budget, which is good. Pedro Gonzalez, oh, I forgot to make a parting comment to him. Can I still make a parting comment to him? No. Oh well, but it is a sad time. He's gone to Newcastle. Familia Cal gets ten percent. It's sad, but, you know, he wanted to leave, which is true. He did. He said he wanted to move to Newcastle. So, uh, man, it is sad, but means we get to spend it. So, you know, I'll have a look at the transfer market and come at you. So, we tried to offer a new contract to Guilherme Santos, but he signed for final. I tried to sell him for like 100k, but 
they're not having it and they don't want to they want to make a move but fair enough uh young talent to play gone but not much we could do we offered them a contract so just wanted to move fair enough man united have made a bid for coates 19 million so 50 million up front and then installments and also after league appearances he is the club captain And I'm going to have to accept it. He's 33. I think we could find something better for, for the money. So I'm going to accept it. Unfortunately, Coates and Pedro Gonzalez go in the same season. As well as Luis Neto. And of course, Yannick Balassi too. So, uh, man, it's going to be a tough replacement for all of them. But um, Coates has been a loyal servant. I think if, if Man Knight came in, I think in real life, we would be like, fair enough. So for me, I'm thinking as a fan and a manager... We're not going to get the money for him. And I think like that money for him again. And, you know, I think he deserves it as a loyal player. So, Coates, off you go, mate, I'm afraid. So, it's third versus fourth. Rio are versus Sporting. We're at home. And it's going to be a tough game, I think. But uh, other than a few players we're missing. So, Morita is obviously out. So, he comes out. And that means we put Braganza in and also put Adrian in the team. And unfortunately, Eduardo Quaresma is injured, which means he pulled his hamstring as well, I think, right? Uh, so he's out for three to seven days. Probably missed the next game as well. The issue is we don't really have a better centre-back to have. Um, squad depth is looking a bit shaky at the moment, to be honest. Um, but, you know, the game is the game. Majika can come back on as a reserve. So this is the team we're going to rock with. Uh, Andrew Coates in his potentially last game for the club. St. Just, Inacio, Fresneda, Nuno Santos. Uh, actually... No, what Sergio Gomez could start a left back. Hulman, Braganza, Rudy Baji, Edwards, and Jokerez. Let's get into the game. Hopefully, we can win. So, here is our team, as I mentioned before, and then we're going to see their team as well. Let's have a look and see what they bring. Yukubu Hanani, Fabio Ronaldo, Guga. It's a good team, but I think ours is better. Let's try and get this win. We've got a good team. Let's go for it. Inacio. The Gomez. Let's see what Sergio Gomez could do in his first start in the Alvalade. Sergio Gomez back to Inacio. What's Inacio going to do here? He's taking his time. And he's passed it to Hulman, luckily. Gomez. Jokerez. With a good pass to Rooney Baji on his debut. Again, starting debut like uh, Sergio Gomez is. Speak of the devil. Oh, I've been tackled by Costinha. Can he get back into position? Because uh, they seem like they're going to go on the counter. Costinha. Sergio Gomez to Jokerez. Braganza. Finds Jokerez again. Finds Rooney Baji. Oh, it could have been on a debut goal in the Alvalade for Rooney Baji, but unfortunately not. But good move nonetheless, yeah, though. Sir. Finds Jormund. Does not find Edwards, though. Finds an injured Costinha. Aziz. <clears throat> Braganza tries to intercept, but can't. Santos. Aziz. To Amine. Patrick William. Hernani. Can we get the ball back here? Fabio Ronaldo, who's a good player. Had him on many FMs. He's decent. Andrew has been left flailing his arms. Why is he coming out like that? And Aziz literally has an open goal. It's poor goalkeeping, poor defending as well. I don't really know what the, the plan was here. It's a good pass from Fabio Ronaldo, to be fair. But how one, how is he seeing that ball? And why is St. just so far behind? And Andrew's just falling to the floor, man. It's awful defending, awful goalkeeping. 1-0 down to Rio Ave. Shocking performance. Brigance with a good free kick, though. It's going to be a decent, good reply there. Let's see if we can deliver this corner in. It's going to be Gomez with a corner. Nice delivery in. Coates. Oh, that was a good shot by Coates, but a good save by Jonathan. Uh, so, we've got another corner here. Can we do something now? It's going to be Gomez again. Can we deliver it nicely? Gomez. Inacio. Pushes Costinha to the floor. Dumb challenge. Now they've got a free kick. This is not good. It looks like he's going to shoot. Good save from Andrew, despite despite the fact his first the first goal was completely his fault. But you know it is what it is. Guga gonna play it short. It looks like to Hernani. Hulmund is there. Jokeres. Hulmund. Okay. End of highlight. Let's go on the counter attack. Can we get something here? Edwards with a free kick. Delivers it in. Briganza on the edge of the box. Briganza will shoot. Unfortunately, can't get anything there. Fresneda. End of highlight again. Man, this has just been a been a boring game more than anything. It's not really much that's been happening. We encourage the boys. Uh, we'll ignore that. But yeah, 
encourage them, I think, is the way to go. Um, <clears throat> but, again, no highlights, nothing. The shambles. I'm going to thrash my arms, boys. You're terrible. You have been terrible. And I think maybe some changes are in order, too. Edwards and Barge have been the worst rated, but Sergio Gomez as well has not been the best. So, I'll start with that one. Uh, but other than that, let's continue. Ostini has been injured since like the first minute and he's still going. Guga, I know, is also at uh, low fitness as well. Hanani, Fabio Ronaldo, Aziz, Guga, Patrick Villian. What a weird highlight. Okay, whatever. Um, but they've got the ball here. Can we get the ball off them? Santos, Costinha, Joca. It's a good move. The defence is just not. <laughs> not defending like it just seems like it's a, like a motorway in there but um Fabio Ronaldo <clears throat> Anani St. Just gets it out come on Rui Baji let's go Rui Baji here on the counter attack what can we do to Edwards still Marcus Edwards with a good run still Marcus Edwards why is Nuno Santos Nuno Santos going to deliver the ball in Apparently not. Inacio's got the ball now. Can we get it back into the middle? Hilmund. St. Just. Braganza. The good pass. Marcus Edwards is through. The Knights got his flag up. Was he off? I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I think he might be. Did Edwards stay on side? Please. Gold is so loud. I mean, we're, we're making the moves though. So, um, how far offside was he? Man, it's a shame. Edwards and Rudy Baji, I think, need to come off because they're both having absolute stinkers. So, in that case, Trincao on for Edwards and Achel Correa for Rudy Baji. And then Paulinho will probably be the next sub on. But um, Edwards, Nuno Santos, Braganza. It's a good save. Braganza playing well. Braganza has been doing well ever since. Every, every time he comes on, he does pretty well, I think. Uh, but on comes the three Musketeers, I suppose. Uh, but yes, let's see if we can get the ball back here. St. Just. Briganza, let's go on the counter attack. Angel Correa, Hulman, Correa, Hulman again. Good pass to Yokerez. Victor Yokerez, still going. Yokerez, good cross. Angel Correa, straight at Jonathan, man. Don't play it in the air to Correa. He's not that tall, man. But uh, man, I feel like we should probably go very attacking soon. I feel like probably one more sub needs to be to be made and an encouragement. Um, I feel like it's got to be Yokrez, man. See, ah, 6.9, though. Unless we do this, right? And that's it. Put Briganza in the middle of the park. Try that. I guess why not? Let's try that. 70th minute. We've got a corner. <clears throat> Correa will take it. Nice delivery in. Fresnader's there. Trincao's on the edge of the box. Correa. Back to Trincao. Back to Correa. Angel Correa. What is that? Pass it. Pass the ball. Uh, okay, another corner though. Can we do something from this one? Angel Correa. Delivery in. Goes to no one, but Correa's got it back. He let it go out because he's offside. Fair enough. <coughs> Gonna go very attacking now though. Oh, okay, maybe not. Got Nuno Santos on the corner. Delivers it in. Inacio's there. It's a good save. Save onto the bar. Man, come on. It's got to be soon, surely. Doesn't seem to be the end of the highlight though, because Jonathan's got the ball in his hand. He's rolled it to Patrick William. What can we do here? Braganza. St. Just. Coates. Finds Fresneda. Still Fresneda. Come on, nice delivery in. Fresneda. Paulinho! Paulinho! Let's go. What a cross and what a finish from Fresneda. We finally scored a goal. I think now we can turn it on. I think we, we're going to be good now. I think. You know, we've got one goal. We just need to get one more. We've been dominating the second half. What a cross from Fresnado as well. But look at the run from Paulinho here. He has the audacity to run to the front post. As Jonathan comes to collect it, just heads it past him. I think, is that all our subs done? Or is we got, have we got something else? 
Uh, I think, how many have we made? We've got one sub left. Hmm. Don't know what sub to, I feel like it must be Magica for Yokerez, to be honest. But, I don't know. I feel like we've got to. I'm sorry, Yokerez, but you've not, you've, you, come on, mate, you've not been playing that well. Magica comes on. Let's see if we can get a goal before that, though. Jonathan. Santos. Anani. Guga. How is Guga still on the pitch, man? He's had like the bit of the, the red heart for ages. Savio. Nuno Santos. Heads it for a corner. It's probably not the best idea, but Majika's coming on now, which is good. So Majika is on. Let's go. Okay, Correa. St. Just. Oh, come on. I'll encourage. I'll go very attacking. I want that goal, man. And then we'll go tactics. We'll go uh, attack. And then we'll also go Nuno Santos on attack as well. We'll leave Briganza sort of the middle of the park as the creator there. Let's see if that can do anything for us. Eight third minute. They stay it's their highlight. Can we get the ball back? Hernani. Santos. Josue. Patrick William. Still Patrick William. Guga. Oh dear, Costinha. He's still on the pitch as well. He's been injured since like the fifth minute. Maybe he started injured. Good save from Andrew. I thought that was going in. Good save though. Andrew at 6.2, man. It's not very good, is it? Let's see what happens here. Hernani's probably going to waste some time here in the 85th minute just to, you know, dry, dry the clock. Dry the clock. Run the clock dry, I suppose. Uh, but Hernani crossing in. Paulinho gets it out. Is there anyone there to get the ball? Correa, come on, let's go on the counter attack. Angle Correa on number seven. Look at the pace. He's still got it. Come on, Angle Correa. Let's go. Still Angel Correa. Fresneda. Cuartes. To St. Just. What is happening here? Back to Cuartes. Braganza. Fresneda. Go and cross it again. Fresneda. Cross it in. Tree Cal's there. Oh, I thought he was going to get that. Counter attack again. Ruiz, can we stop the ball here? Guga. No, no, Santos gets the ball. Is that going to be in the highlight? It is. Okay, so. We've got one more in garage. Uh, and maybe move Braganza. Okay, we can't. He's going to have a bad time. But if we do like the Dream Fielder attack, I think that could be it. Maybe move Fresnado and Nuno Santos up there. So, like, a proper attacking. Okay, let's go for the win. Come on. <clears throat> Highlight here though. Saint just wins the header. Majika gets tackled. Hanani. Come on. Let's not let them score. I know we've gone very attacking, but that's not what I want to happen. Braganza, good tackle. Braganza loses the ball though. Can we get the ball back here? Ruiz. Costinha. Hanani. Guga. What a save from Andrew. Man, 88th minute. We really need something here. It's going to be Hernani with the corner. I'm getting nervous now, boys. Hernani with the corner. Come on, mate. Any time today. Paulinho gets it out. As far as Fabio Ronaldo. Hernani. Five minutes added time. Come on, we need something here. It's now or never. Fresneda. Braganza. Back to Fresneda. Braganza. Cuartes. Braganza. Finds Nuno Santos with a cross. Oh, I thought I was going to Correa, man. Okay, corner, 93rd minute. Come on. Come on, Correa. Nice delivery, please. One of you needs to score this. Correa. Cuartes. Trincal. Correa. Correa's offside. I thought he was. I think that might be the end of the game, unfortunately. Yeah, I see it. A draw, man. Oh, man, I can't believe it. We do need to improve this team without Pedro Gonzalez, man. It just... Oh, yeah, you're not good enough. It wasn't. Man. Uh, Paulinho was very happy, yes, because he's a very good player. Uh, but that puts us now. There is the old Clasico coming, so if they draw, it'll be a better result for us. But Benfica are currently 12 points clear of us, and Porto are currently what? One, two, three, three. The mass three points clear, and they they're playing each other. So 
Pauline rescues, and as you can see, I'm going to send the assistant for this one because El Patron Sebastian Cuartes, El Capital is gone. 50 million. I will make a parting comment to you. You have been a fantastic servant. He's had a great time here. He's helped me move his game. He'd love to come back one day. Ugh, man, I'm getting a bit emotional, a bit teary eyed, but that is it. Cuartes is gone. 20, we only just had over a year and we got 19 million for him. I would say, and how much do we get all together in the bank? 15 million. So in total, we've got 67 million in the bank. And I'm going to play one more game against Morientz and then we'll call it there. We've got another transfer come in. Uh, Briganza. Briganza is playing too well for us, I think, off the bench. He's been a proper good creator for us. As Sebastian Kawhi has left the team, you need to appoint a new captain. Luis Neto also leaving. I'm not putting... Adrian as the captain. I do think, as a, as a throwback kind of guy, I like my captains to be outfield players and defenders. Forwards already make sense, midfielders make sense, but at this point, I'm going to go for Gonzalo Inacio. Gonzalo Inacio is captain, Braganza as the vice captain. Uh, can I not put. Oh, I, have to, I have to change it because Neto's leaving. So if Neto complains, it's like, mate, you're leaving anyway. So, um, man, it's a, it's a shame. Uh, Skillist to Jill Vicente, let's go. Uh, but yes, uh, but other than that, it is sad. But we'll, 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 the thing is, now let him go in the AFCON when Diamonde is not here, and I think Correa might be injured. It might be Neto to actually come in. Speak of the devil, uh, Diamonde 4 2 in Satan, nice. Uh, but yeah, let's play this last game against Morientz, and then we'll call it a day for this episode. And then I'll let you let you decide who we should bring in, man. But yeah, let's go on to the next bit. And as you can see, Porto absolutely slapped Benfica 4-0. So Porto even further behind. Six points clear of us now, which is a shame. Uh, we do need to pick up and start playing a lot better. But, man, I don't know what's happening. Uh, Hulman misses the League Cup semi-final for suspension. Uh, does he? He just misses the game with Morientz, no? I don't think that. I think that's a bug. I'm hoping it's a bug, but he shouldn't be spending for three games. He got straight red, but um, I mean it was just a second yellow. But that's cool. Um, I mean a loan offer for Marcus Edwards with a future fee of twelve point five million. He's got a release clause of eighty. Good. Okay. I, I didn't want him to leave anyway, but I don't know why I've been a loan. But uh, yeah, it's not happening. But we do have Morientz now. Morient beat us, if you remember. Very start of the save we did. We went on a good run when we started with victories, right? So, by a good run, I mean one game. Yeah, and then we lost 2-0 to Morient. So, this is a grudge match for us. And, unfortunately, Hulmond is suspended. And I've really not thought about squad depth a lot. Because that means Adrian Silva comes in. But I'll swap those two around. And Hulmond will sit on the bench for... Jenny's back, okay, from AFCON, which is okay. Uh... But we don't have a lot of players ready. But I will put Kresma on the bench. Uh, Jarman Hughes is unregistered. So I actually wanted to register Jarman Hughes because uh, pretty much he's going to be one of the centre-backs that we bring in off the bench. Uh, well, so we're putting Neto in because Eduardo Kresma is currently injured. But Eduardo Kresma can sit on the bench. Chico Lambert's back, actually. So Chico Lambert can go on the bench. Uh, but Jarman Hughes is going to be the guy that we train up to be maybe the back up right uh, center back he's a left footer so we do actually need to train him in the same way that we train uh luis not luis neto um gonzalo inacio which is a ball playing defender on defend so uh if we get to german news uh, it's going to be training uh ball playing defender on defend cool He's going to be the left back, the sort of left footed centre back. Uh, and obviously, Chico Lamba is what, 20? I don't think he's ever going to be that good. But, you know, maybe. But uh, Rudy Baji also uh, injured. Uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like a poor groin. There we go, poor groin. So, for this match, I'm going to put in Nuno Santos for Gomez because Gomez had a stinker last time out. And Angel Correa can come in on the winger, wing side. This is the team. It is very injury plagued. Luis Neto, I don't actually think he should start. Chico Lamba, go on, mate. Uh, you can start because you're more match fit. And I, I don't know what's happening here, to be honest. We've got really bad squad depth. 
saying that we'll probably sort out next episode but i want you to help me i want you to tell me what transfer should i bring in who should i sell who should i who should i bring in we've got 60 million in the bank so we've got stuff to do but before we get onto that good stuff we do need to play this game let's do it so can we avenge the game against morientz let's see so that is the team as always and this is their team uh andre luis camacho alanzino coba amadora marcelo former sporting player but other than that this team we should be beating i said to the boys we need revenge against the last time we played them so they're all fired up let's see if we can get the results let's go braganza with an inception here comes braganza Jokerez, edwards Marcus Edwards finds Braganza. Danny Braganza on the ball. Adrian. Dummy. Fresneda. Well, that was a good play. Uh, I'm going to switch myself to a balanced because I feel like we played better with a balanced mentality. But uh, let's see. Nuno Santos on the ball. Edwards. Marcus Edwards with a good run. Still Marcus Edwards. Braganza. Danny Braganza. Good save by Kerwin. And then Nuno Santos. Adrian. Gonzalo Inacio. Back to Adrian. Okay, nothing happened. I thought it was going to be a highlight there, but clearly not. So, good start though, definitely. So let's let's keep it up. We encourage the boys again. Oh, we can score some some goals. Chico Lamba, what a ball to Edwards! I didn't realize Chico Lamba that is locker. What a pass, but uh, didn't come with anything, unfortunately. No, Santos, the free kick. Good save from Kevin. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can do from this corner. Obviously, we are like the kings of corners at this point. We have so many of them, we can never score. No, no Santos. Delivering it in. Adrian. Inacio. Good save from Kevin again. But we've tested Kevin a bit. We've had four shots on target already, so uh, playing well. So yeah, I'm not going to make any subs, but I'm going to go positive and see what happens there. Because I feel like we can go a bit more positive now because they're sitting back quite a lot. So uh, let's see what we can do in the second half. No Santos. That's a good angle. What's happened there? I think, I think the keeper saved it and St. Just was at the front post, but unfortunately couldn't get anything on it. No Santos. Fresneda. Fresneda, can he do another cross like he did last game? No, back to No Santos. Chico Lamba. Back to Nuno Santos. What is that? Why are they just passing it to each other? Now is the counter attack from Allen. Maracas. Afori. Okay, that's it for that. But again, uh, I'll leave the encouragement for that because they all seem pretty good mentally. So, but again, nothing's really happening. Um, Fabinho. Allen. Marcelo. So he just gets it as far as the uh, Morient's player. Afori. Wallison. Camacho. Jokrez, good inception. Come on, Jokrez. Oh, Jokrez with the pace. The burst of pace. Let's go, Jokrez. I see. Is that Braganza in the middle, I think? Fresneda. Still Fresneda. What is that? Come on, man. But yeah, I think Correa might have to be the first casualty to come off. 6.5. And Trincao's really not got that much of a fair chance either. So I'll just make the one sub for now. Maybe leave it to the safe minute and bring some more on. But uh, we've got a corner here. Adrian Silva. Delivery in. Braganza's there. Nuno Santos. Back to Adrian. Nuno Santos. Oh, unfortunately, can't get the shot on target. But again, we're having so many shots. 13. But uh, not much is happening. Uh, yeah, I'll place Jokrez with Paulinho. Just for the suspension also. To Jokrez in this game. Well, for me at least, isn't doing too much. Um, unfortunately, Briganza is dying. And so is Chico Lamba. So, okay. Uh, Jean Meunier's field debut might as well come on, I think. Uh, actually, no, because that's the wrong side for you. Uh, Luis Neto will come on for your, for, for just a, a reason, I suppose. And Gansa, can you play there? And then can anyone else play there? 
Rudy Baji can play there, but it's Paul is groin. So maybe Sergio Gomez up there. You know, I'm gonna do what we did last time, which was bring on Rafa Mujica and then play those two up front then put Adrian in sort of the midfield role and see what that does. Because we do need to go and we've been dominating. So uh, let's see what that can do. <coughs> no Santos. Nothing there either. I'm going to go attacking, I think. Or very attacking, I think. Oh, we can't drop more points. Can't do it two in a row. But one more sub to make. Who's been the worst player? No Santos and Fresneda. Come on, Sergio Gomez. I bought you in for a Okay. Oh, we've all used all the available stoppages. Never mind. Uh, so that's fine. Uh... <coughs> no, no, Santos. Adrian. Finds Edwards. Marks Edwards with a good turn. Marks Edwards. What just happened? What just happened? We hit the post twice. And now they've gone on the counter-attack. Andre Luis. Come on, Luis. I actually got that. Man, what is... I um, just cannot believe what I just saw. No, Santos. Deliver it in. Do not shoot. It's left to do something. Can we get another opportunity? We're not. We're going to drop points for the second consecutive game. What is happening, man? We've been so poor. We've been ravaged by injuries, to be fair, but... Why are you anxious and stressed? Surely you can't disagree with me there. Man. I still can't believe that one chance. But, yeah, we're out of the title race already. We just need to try and keep third place, which I think is Champions League. Uh, Tuso wants... No Santos. I'm gonna send assistant. Um But yeah, man, what is happening? We're just not doing very well at this moment in time, unfortunately. I feel like we do need to bring some more signings in because squad depth is uh not looking good. So we filter it with just uh high players not at the club. We'll take those out as well. So a midfielder is probably something we need to bring in. A uh, segundo volante is probably the best thing for us to bring in. Uh, a winger, I think we're fine. Strikers, we're fine. Left back, with Jenny's there as well. Uh, right back, we're fine. Centre back, I think we do need another starting centre back, and that will be someone who we bring. Goalkeeper, we're fine. Um, but yes, this is where I leave it to you. Please let me know who you think we should sign. Who should we bring in? Who should we sell? What position should we go for? Please help me out, because as you can see, I'm really bad at this game. But thank you for watching. Sporting FM save. Hope to see you next time. And peace.